Talk. We are talking this evening about the 9400. Uh, it's the new Osborne Auto from Benchmade. It is freaking sweet. No. And we're going to open it, and we're going to look at it, and we're going to look at other knives, and we're going to talk about it, and it's going to be fun. The one thing I have a problem with is... <laughs> Hold on, there's going to be a cut there. <laughs> the one thing that you have. The one thing I have a problem with is it's a black class. It's an awesome, uh, which has always yeah. been blue class. Yeah, yeah. And this is a black class. It's I had a problem finding it. it almost was... <laughs> no different than the standard 940. All, all autos are black classes. Though. It was written in the annals of Benchmade history long ago that all automatic knives. The problem with, with this knife is that it's a black class, and I don't believe that the Osborne should be a black class if it's an auto. I okay. mean, the Impel mm -hmm. is, auto... uh, should not be. Well, I mean, all autos are black class, though. They are, but the Osborne is such a classic everyday carry knife that it should be a blue class. They should make a new class for it if they're going to put it in not the blue class. It should be like the, uh, what, the what's what, black and blue. It's Whatever. a navy blue class. Let's say everyday uh, right on it, right why don't next we, to tactical. Why don't we yeah, open it up? I could write that on there. We should, we should look at it. Let's look at it. I've never seen it before. See what it says. <laughs> it says, I'm a blue class. <laughs> yeah, well, let's we'll see when it opens it. It's like... <laughs> That's green. Black. Wow, that's pretty similar to the blue class Osborne. For those of you that don't know, yeah, but it's Benchmade auto. It has several distinct classes that they put their knives into. So blue class is like your everyday carry, you know, just know. daily carry this pocket is knives. Like duty in the line of duty, yeah. job use, whatever. And, then, and, and then, the other ones don't matter right now. So we'll just talk about these. Okay. It's quick. Yeah. Is it snappier than most push button autos from Benchmade? It is. It has, the Ruckus 2 oh, has a better fuck. spring, too. Yeah, that's, that's all right. True. I don't need the webbing in between my thumb. <laughs> Neither does Dan Aykroyd. Eh. Well, so I also feel pretty silly because when we did the Mediator video, I thought that this was like the Osborne Auto, and I was like, Me too. great. Well, was, I, come on. Well, that, yeah. Everybody thought that. Yeah, it shouldn't right? be too silly. Everyone thought that. Yeah. What is it? Two months later, the Osborne Auto came out, and I now feel like I misjudged Bench made in their new knives that are coming up because they don't necessarily give us a heads up sometimes on what's coming out. But I, I like it. I think it's a great knife. It's everything that people want in an Osborne, but it's an auto. It's a push button. I wish they had done an access. It's a way yeah. old school yeah. clip, though. It is. Way old school. That's yeah. the uh, split. split arrow. They call yeah. it the split yeah. arrow, but everybody else calls it the penis. Right? I wonder why they would do that and not the. So, just to preface. Even this has the short low rise. Yeah, of so, course. But, so yeah. My favorite I thing know, about sure. that, this knife, is just how closely. It resembles this, right? You've got Except the same backspacer. Mm -hmm. Well, well, obviously the class. Did the did the original come with the split arrow? The penis. Oh, like in two thousand, and I I don't know. I think know. it was the old Benchmade USA logo. Yeah, I, I would assume it was hmm. the Benchmade USA. Is, is it, wait, isn't this isn't this older than the Parkerized? Is the split arrow older than Parkerized? I would assume it I is. Don't, I, don't Scott, I honestly is, don't know. It's gotta be. I don't know. Come on. All right. I'll just wipe that off my pants. There, that'll be fine. I mean, even to like the contouring on the handle and. Well, not the clip, but... Uh, th the this class. almost seems like an homage to the original. Because before it was S30V, it was 154. So mm -hmm. did the 154 variation come with the split arrow? I've only seen a couple of those in my life. And I I've, only seen, I've only seen two, Ray if I'm one. honest. Ray's is. Ray has the carbon fiber one and the green one. Hmm. Fuck, I need new contacts. <clears throat> that says S30. S30. Yeah, it, okay. It's not 154. Although I do like that Warren Osborne is... Quite obviously, not designing new knives, but this is totally like a yeah. This they, is totally like an homage. homage to, yeah, yeah, back. You know, like <laughs> still credit the man with the design, and the the the, uh, the the Warren Osborne design lives on Do in a in a in a new. They got rid of a pin. Yeah, the yeah. screws. No, this yeah. this pin right here. Why no? Because the right, handle right, screws. Yeah. They're all. If you flip it, it's all solid. And reverse it. Okay. <laughs> Flim, yep. <laughs> no, no. Um, I would like to know, because there's the access lock and there's not really an access lock to oh, hold into it. Okay, um, so sense. I would really like to know if they come out with a 943-0. Oh, mm. why wouldn't you? 94 I mean, uh, it's just a different blade shape. Okay. But yeah. you, get, you get to get, to get all the same <laughs> geometry. <laughs> Flim, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, but you get, you get to keep all the same... <laughs> Fuck off. You gotta keep all the same geometry. Everything gets to be the same. Yeah. You just make it a drop point. 
I mean, you can almost take a fucking sharpie and draw the drop and draw the drop point on this blade. What I'm looking for work. out of this, if it's popular enough, is like the 9400 dash one and dash two. But you With have carbon this. fiber and uh, G10. This is G10 and S90. Why would you spend more money? Because these two are not carbon that different. fiber, baby. But these two hmm. are not that different in price. They're what 20, 30 bucks. Why would are you they? spend? I have That's no like idea. So yeah. in a standard Osborne, they're one. 99 uh, for the black blade, yeah. And Wait, but this is CLA style construction with S90, and this is AFO style construction with S30. Yeah, but if you're going to compare this to the carbon fiber 267 to 199, these are like 20 or 30 bucks apart. Why would you spend yeah. the extra $40 for I, I carbon fiber? I would do it. This would I don't be, know why, but I would do it. This, this, this would be difficult to machine in carbon fiber, that would not. Because it's it's flat scales on liners, mm -hmm. and if you're doing this in carbon fiber, when you have to do the fold and you have to do the uh, you have to do the indent in the inside for the partial liners that it has, I mean this would be very difficult to do in carbon fiber. This would be much easier. But you get the steel in this for yeah. You did did you do the pricing on this? You make the tag. Uh, so two thirty three. I want to say two fifty seventeen dollars yeah. apart, huh. and you would pay. You would pay so much more in carbon fiber because there's well, a seventy dollar, but there's a seventy dollar price difference between the standard Osborne with black blade, and so one eighty two or one eighty five for the yeah, yeah. satin blade. But there's like a seventy or eighty dollar difference between the standard nine forty to the nine forty one. Yeah. Why would you pay so much more for just carbon fiber scales when you can get that S ninety blade in this versus this? Well, I I think. Uh, the difference is going to be in like the amount of machining you're going to have to do because if if you're going to make this carbon fiber then you're going to have to convert it over to this which is going to be kind of impractical because if you do this in carbon fiber then you have to have the carbon fiber wrap around and it has to have a spacer yeah. and then it has to have inlaid fucking uh liners which i haven't taken this apart yet because we haven't had it long enough but what standard knife has been done in carbon fiber in an auto <clears throat> because that sounds much more difficult, much more expensive. You're talking like over 300 bucks. Well, even this, if even if you do that between these two, it sounds like you're just cannibalizing the CLA. Yeah, you're just either doing that or you're taking this knife, not an Osborne design, and you're adding carbon fiber scale, so why would you pay so well, much more money for it? what if they're doing this? Like, here's this, here's this, and then here's the CLA. What if they're just throwing everything at the wall and then whatever sticks, then that's what it becomes? Yeah. Because nobody knew that the fucking bug out was just going to become the phenomenon it was, right? So they can kind of go anywhere with this. Well, And, that and they're starting point, to go that way. With the, the G10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And exactly. And, that, and the yeah. 20 CV and everything. They're just they're just throwing it at the wall and see what sticks. So they throw this at the wall, see what sticks. Throw this at the wall, see what sticks. Carbon fiber, see what sticks. Carbon fiber, see what sticks. Change up the steel, see what sticks. And whatever sells, go that direction. It just seems like you're taking, I mean, it sounds like you're, you're taking the best of both worlds and you're combining them to make a good knife. I just don't know if you can get carbon fiber with S90 in the 940-100-1, a plausible and affordable yeah. knife. But this would be a doable thing. Uh, this you can get aftermarket skills for it. That's not a big deal. But I, I just I, I don't think know. I think the simplicity and the proven uh, the proven uh, size and and reliability of this knife is what they're aiming for. I don't and see them really going a lot larger with this because this is already proven. Yeah. And the <clears throat> size and the design and everything. I mean, it is nearly indistinguishable. Well, that's exactly my point, though, too, is that the, the 940, uh, along with, like, I don't know, maybe the PM2 is, like, one of those iconic knives that no matter what configuration you come out with or, like, special edition, they're go they're gonna people are going to buy them. Yeah. There are 940 guys out there who their life's goal is to have every single 940. Yeah. So if you found a way to, like, market this with carbon fiber as a 940, it would do better, I think, than the mediator with carbon fiber. I yeah. hope they don't come up with a 9. 9300 or 9430. 9430. Yeah, I hope they don't come out with that version yeah. as an auto because it just like you're you're broadening the range too much. Yeah, that's come out with more gold classes or but more gold editions. But here's come what out I with something different. Here's what I like about this, and I like about this that I don't like about the um, AFO is even that's a little slower than this. How fast that is! I mean, that's that like is. a. Uh, that's like uh, what is the the Protec TR3? Mm -hmm. That motherfucker kicks. Like yeah. Protex, we we we'd actually have to tell people like, hey, hold on to it, hold on to it, 
and they're like, oh no, and it just kick out of their hand, and then it falls on the fucking concrete floor, and you you fuck it up. But but this, I mean, this thing kicks. It really is fast I'd also and like, lightweight. Also to point out and that a good price point. They don't put numbers on their first productions. They only put first production. Yeah, no. which I, I agree with that. Very interesting. 